The holidays were so busy with all the food and family that was prepared, I have to say the kitchen took the brunt of it. Now that all the baking is done and family has gone home, I thought it would be a good time to just give the counters a really good scrub down, take everything off, wipe everything down, and really try to add it to my weekly cleaning routine. It's one of those things that if you do it regularly, it really doesn't have to take that much time and you really enjoy your kitchen that much more. So if you're like me and you enjoy a good cleaning video, grab something warm or a load of laundry to fold and join me while I give the counters a good wipe down. you try do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'll watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever, forever, forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment
one of my favorite things to do when I make a batch of homemade cookies is to only bake one half sheet, which is like 20 cookies. The rest of the dough I will roll up in plastic and then put foil over it and put it in the freezer. And then one day down the road when I am craving something sweet, I can just pull it out, slice it up, and it's ready to go. So it doesn't get any easier than slice it, bake it, eat it. And that's exactly what I did this afternoon. I love these double chocolate cookies. They are from Mary Berry's Baking Bible, I believe. I will link it below. I love Mary Berry. Um, I love her English accent, but I love her baking even more. And these are spot on. I won't tell you what's in them because you will probably think they are too unhealthy to eat, but they are so good. And as a special treat, they're worth it. time chat. Today I just wanted to touch on heart of contentment, I guess. Um, I have been in a major purging mode um, ever since the new year. The holidays, I'll admit, they were a little bit of a struggle for me. I just felt like overwhelmed by stuff and, and to be honest, a little bit by people. I love my family. We don't have, you know, weird uncle Cy or whatever. Um, we all get along very well, but it was just like really no lull in it. It just like started two weeks before Christmas and then just kept right through the new year. And when you put that on top of feeling like my home was overly cluttered, I was really um, not very nice and a little bit stressed out. So. I had every intention of coming back strong the first of the year and getting these videos out, but I really um, re realized that if I didn't get my home in order, I wouldn't be able to share with you um, in the manner that I wanted to. I wanna share my home with you. I hope you've enjoyed the first half of this video, but I wanna know from you during our actual um, tea time together, and I would love for this to be a chat, do you, feel like when your home is cluttered um, that you just aren't at your best, that you um, can't take, maybe you can get through the day to day. And if you're like me, I was having this conversation with a friend. I am very good at um, restacking my stacks so that they're not visually in my way, but I was not being very diligent about actually um, getting rid of the things that we didn't use and putting things back where they go. So in the weeks to come, I'm gonna be showing you how I um, pared down a lot of things and how I'm making this home that we're living in, which is only two bedrooms. It's a nice size home, don't get me wrong, we are not living in a tiny home, but it is meant for empty nesters. It is a two bedroom house. Um, so while we do have ample, a nice big dining room and the living room and the kitchen, I love the kitchen, but there's only two bedrooms. So um, when you go from four to two, there's a lot of purging that comes with that. So just let me know in the comments and let each other know um, what is it that you 
find the hardest to get rid of? Is it like me? I spent quite a bit of time in my craft room um, just paring down, getting rid of things that I had been keeping for a very long time, thinking that I might try that hobby again or I will get to that fabric at some point. I really had to just rip the band-aid off and as my husband said, because I said, oh, I spent so much money for that. He said, the money is gone. You know, that money is spent. Whether you use the fabric or not, the money is spent. Find someone who will use it. And I just keep repeating that to myself. The money is gone. The money is gone. Just get rid of what you're not feasibly going to use or what really doesn't even um, appeal to me in the same way anymore. So that was a huge one. Um, I am going to show you the revamp of my office, which is literally just a table in our bedroom now. I used to have my own craft room, my own little office area. I don't have that anymore. So I'm learning to embrace, not just be content, but to embrace um, what I have and to see it as a good thing, to let go of some things that I don't need to keep around. So. Go ahead and let's discuss this. What is it that um, you tend to hang on to? What is the hardest thing for you to purge? And if you have done that, have you been able to keep it up? Because that's where I am now. I'm feeling comfortable with what I have gotten rid of. Um, and I am on a zero spend January because I don't want to replace what I just gave away. So let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts on how to keep organized, how to keep pared down? And I am by no means a minimalist. We're not going to even go there. I enjoy having things around. I just feel that makes me feel at home. It might not everyone, and that's fine. If your idea of home and um, just relaxing is to have minimal stuff out, I totally get that. I need a little bit of my stuff. I'm a color girl and I, I like to have things around. So that's what I have for us today in this tea time. I am actually drinking and I will share that with you. This is one of my favorites. This is actually hawthorn and hibiscus. So yummy. Um, both medicinally very good for you. This is traditional, uh, this is traditional medicinals i believe that that is the brand of this uh it says one thorn of one thorn of experience is worth a whole wilderness of warning well now there you go take that one to the bank so i hope you enjoy this new feature of tea time and i really would love for this to be a conversation enjoy the rest of the video there is more this will happen right in the middle of the video so please stay tuned and keep watching and thank you for coming back. Thank you for stopping by. Let's get on with the video. Last month I moved this little hutch that I used to have in the living room. I moved it to the kitchen, added my cookbooks to it, and I have been wanting to make a little skirt for the bottom of it. I keep my uh, mixing bowls in there, and honestly, these are beautiful bowls, vintage bowls that I really want to incorporate in my everyday use, but I tend to gravitate towards the same set of Pioneer Woman, what is it, Mel Melamar, Melanar, whatever they are, those kind of hard plastic bowls. They're lightweight, um, they take a real beating, they're easy to clean. So really what I wanna do today is make a skirt for the base of this cabinet, and not only will it keep the dust out of the bowls that don't get used as often as I'd like them to, but it also adds a softness to the kitchen. I don't really have a place for curtains and I love fabric in the kitchen. So this is kind of twofold. Such a simple project, won't take me but a few minutes. It's one of those things that I always wonder, why did I put it off after it's finished? Mm -hmm. 